Islam. In the nature and power yes. of Allah, the master of spiritual insight and perceival of all truth, I rise to give all praises to Allah, and I give honor to his holy and illustrious prophets, messengers, guides, and angels, as well as all those doing their part in uplifting for humanity via the education of our people. May of Dr. Ali Muhammad, Indeed. as usual, we're building constantly on the importance of nationality. And as we know, Dr. Ali Muhammad is one of the most uh, most seen propagators of nationality, the importance of it. And today I'd like to address particularly um, body politic mm -hmm. and the actual application and its usage in order for the benefit of the Asiatics. Yeah. Um, before you continue, I just you know give a little backdrop. What I hear in the street a lot is um you know why do I need a nation? As in you know not really understanding what a nation is besides customs, cultures, and tradition, or right. religion, or language, but the actual organization. I'd yeah. like for you to go into the importance of that. Yeah. Well, I mean to start off, we can look at the situation amongst our people and see the disparity. There's economic depravity, there's moral depravity, there's a lack of knowledge of self, and all of those things create conditions, emotional, psychological, economic, educational, where we look like we are naturally deficient, and it's either directly or indirectly promoted that we are that. Right. And because of that malady that's operated in society, we haven't learned the laws that we can take control of to reverse that condition ourselves. We often look for a handout, somebody else to make the offering, or to come up with a big decision about how to handle that. Right. And that's not how a nation operates. A nation operates based on the premise of some historical identity where they have capsulized a culture where they can solve their own problems. All right, so if you look at the body politic concept, advancing beyond just you know looking wearing the things that that we know that identify us we that moves you into a greater level of responsibility for yourself a body right. politics says that when we leave here and we go and we go eat somewhere we can eat at a restaurant that's registered in our body politic that is being we got the preamble going on so excuse us can we pause that uh no you can't pause it but just let it rock okay let it rock yeah but if you like for us to start pausing things and you like better video, go to bit.ly slash A-I-T-W-Y-N-D-O-N and leave your nation a donation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We just give them respect for the group because they're saying the preamble and we don't want to continue to talk over them. So getting back to this, this this crucial point, I mean, we can, we can go we can go all the way back to the history. So we need to understand the history of nationality as it was discussed amongst our people and how it how it propelled up. All the way back to 1856, you had Edward Wilmot Blyden, who was born here domestically, but was a senator in in Liberia, mm. right? So he was trying to show people back then the importance of nationality, and he wrote a whole book on that subject. All right, and then you had the, who, the people who came after that, like. The, uh, the Garveys, you know what I mean, who propelled it. Then Noble Drew Ali busted through the gate and started talking about it direct and bringing the lawful and the legal science of what that means in a cultural dynamic and a body politic. And then we, what we saw in the 60s is our people moving towards trying to figure out the, the mechanics of it, but they didn't have a lot of knowledge, but it was still moving. And you had Honorable Elijah Muhammad who gave a, 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 a context for it with the business structure and the social structure and then Malcolm X you know, trying to go to the UN. So we've been dealing with this with every leadership, either directly or, or indirectly, indirectly right. as a part of solving the problem. But here's the issue. We're making it too complex. If you go down to, let's say, New Mexico, there's places in the highway you can drive down, you go, you're driving through Native American lands, Navajo, whoever. 
they got schools, they got other things, they got investment in that particular area. You can go down to Florida, they got the Seminoles. You can go down uh, up to North D D Dakotas, they got the Sioux. All right. One of the things that we have a problem with is first identifying who exactly we are. All of the misnomers create the confusion and the division. And if you don't know what a misnomer is, it's a name you're calling yourself that's not historically yours. Right. So that leads you to searching for something that doesn't exist. PG, now while we're on that subject matter, don't lose your thought. Black is a misnomer in to you? Black is a misnomer. African American is a misnomer. Uh, what are the other misnomers that people Negro, use? Color. Yeah, Negro, color. Spanish, Spanish, Latin, Spanish, Latin, Spanish Puerto yeah, Rican. African. Yeah, all those misnomers. All those, all those have no historical context and no documents, historical words that we use to associate with us. All right. So now when you come to the indigenous languages in America, you have terms. You come to the indigenous language in Africa, you have the terms more, Muslim, all those things. So, so we go into those particular things. And we can go you know, further back. But the point is we're here now in said 2015 on the Gregorian calendar, 15,101 on the aboriginal calendar, or original calendar. And what we're saying is we have enough information. We have it. All right. So what do we do with it? We bring people together and we take the, the wheel of life, all right, from the first house to the twelfth house and we look at everything that's going on. Right. Defense and intelligence, economics and building, networking and diplomacy, uh, family, arts and culture, health and agriculture and medicinal sciences. Uh, the legal aspects and law and justice and how we marry and forensics and how we are born and education and uh, the civil aspects of government, the structural components, how we're going to deal with technology and patenting, all those things. We're divesting our energy into colonizers. Right. And by doing that, all of the greatness that we have usually just seeps away somewhere because we're not owning it. Well, we so we get person. one body politic or several. Several units. It could be like five of them joints that try to figure out a way and then they find a way to work together. Right. But we get them, and what we say is when you invent something, it belongs to the Morris Science Temple of America. Period. And you, as the beneficiary. So now all the money you make off of it, there's no taxes being taken by this entity and that entity and that entity. The Morris Science Temple of America is being used as an example for contextual purposes. Indeed. So, so now if it is taxed, it's taxed by the Morris Treasury to bring back finances to the operation of a local, uh, state, or national government. Now, the reason why that's important is because I heard Noble Drew Ali say we're part and parcel. Partial. Am I correct? Partial. Yes, Some sir. people say parcel. I, I guess I got the grafted lesson, but thank you for right. correcting yes, me. Yes, sir. All right, so in that sense, what he's saying is, okay, we have our identity as an indigenous people, Moorish Americans, all right, and then we have our identity within the U.S. So now, why can't we do business in the U.S. and have our exclusive things that we do in our body politic. Right. All right. It's a simple equation. Why is the body politic important? Because it closes us off from a culture that's dying. Right. And even though we can still do business and understand the law and understand our position in society and go bank and do everything else we're doing, we can do those things inside of our our body politic that's exclusive to the nationals that send it. If I it could just say that, if I know art. If I could say that in layman's English, because you know, a lot of my audience is like really in the street. Oh yeah, that's so good. Like, that's good. Yeah, break, let's break it down. Yeah, so basically, we have our own, mm -hmm. not ignoring what's there in place. No, no and not but saying still we're our not own. saying we're sovereign citizens. Right. Not, you know, saying we don't gotta follow the law. All the stuff that they're gonna see on YouTube if right. they Google this stuff, just put that down. We live in society. We must follow rules, regulations, and order. Right. That's it. Regardless of who wrote it. It's for our safety in the sense of our, our moral standard will allow for us to perpetuate it without it being uh, an encumbrance upon us. Right. Something that brings us down. It only becomes an encumbrance and we complain about police shooting us and all these other things if we don't have the body politic to close that off. No other body politic, Jewish, Chinese or whatever, are getting shot. 41 times, dude. It's That's not it. happening. And the reason why it's not happening is because they have some form of body politic. Right. When you are loose cannon out here, the property of the state, and you have no one to look after you, you become uh, undesirable. And then now they can move on you, and the only thing you can do is march and do those particular other things. You can't pull your money. You can't pull this. You can't say, oh, we about to pull these strings, or you just shot one of us. We're coming down to the police station. We shut it. You can't do those things because you're not organized. You get organized for a moment on emotion, and then you go home to the same misnomer application of the fiction. 
the, the things that you're doing at home that are not unifying your community. And now on the other hand, because we can talk about them, but on the other hand, we, we I know, and so the streets need to know that you are actually organizing, um, I believe it's in September, mm -hmm. the Aboriginal Summit. Yeah. And yeah. instead of coming together, you know, on emotional grounds, hey man, you know, it feels good to be, you know, in the black right. power. And it's like, okay, no, now that we're here. this business. Yeah, because, you know, we have things that are going on and then our communities and if we really want the uh, external policing to stop, the internal policing yeah. is beginning. Yeah. Let me so. let me let me talk about let me talk about some of the things that we're gonna be doing, right? By twenty sixteen, we're gonna have our own city. Hmm. You're gonna be I ain't gonna tell you where it's at. You're gonna be able to come to our Aboriginal village and go to the city, go eat some food, go get some soup, black some food, watermelons. get some black seeded watermelons mm -hmm. and come back to New York. You see what I'm saying? That's the type of stuff that we're talking about. Taking just a small number of people, a few thousand people, and investing in it so that we can do something like that. Right. You know what I mean? Or coming and saying, look, everybody that has some form of body politic that's being injured, let's come together and make this international suit just to put the flames out so they don't bother us. Right. You know what I mean? We don't need licenses and permits necessarily to go out on the streets on our indigenous lands to go participate in trade and commerce. You know what I mean? As long as we're not violating and injuring no one or trying to do any things, they, they create things for the subjects, you see what I'm saying, <clears throat> as, as barriers because they don't know that this is their homeland. That's a big, that's a big point I need to make. Let me, let me, let me phase to that. You are home. Right. You're home. Like, you're home. That's it. You need to understand that. All of our people who are going by these misnomers need to know you're home. And you're home here, you need to act like you're home. And the first thing that you need to do is clean yourself up morally. Right. right? Because although we don't equate morality with the success of having money and wealth in the society because people who are stars can be sniffing cocaine and they can be all kind of other things. If you understand the dynamics of a person who has morality, more than likely they're going to get married. More than likely they're going to get married and take care of their children. More than likely they're not going to be in environments like bars and other places to get into some type of you know, disagreement with another citizen or national. More than likely, they're going to have some type of focus where they want the children to get educated in their indigenous systems or in the regular society. All right. So what you're looking at is a mobile vehicle that knows how to navigate itself in a society based on laws, principles, rules, culture, and you know those things that protect us. So we need to understand that once we come into morality and we're saying, all right, we got a code of conduct. You know, the code of conduct could be the Bible. The code of conduct could be the Quran. The code of conduct could be the per in rule. But it's a code of conduct that holds you to something. Law is something that is necessary for human beings in a social setting to keep them protected. So when you see the fezes and you see the, the kufis and you see the things that people are wearing to represent their body politic, we need to understand that that is a necessity that we have always engaged in since ancient times. That's our culture. And then once we re-embrace those things, life changes for us. Right now, if you look at society, what you have is a, 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 a really immoral culture, right? That's perpetuating with lots of knowledge. So you know what that makes you? For, for, for lack of a better word, some people don't like the religious word, it makes you satanic. It makes you the type of person that does not respect uh, the fact that if you injure someone else, as long as you're not getting caught by the popo, the police, or somebody locking you up, you're cool with it. You're like a civilized so, savage. Exactly, exactly. So all we're saying is, listen, man, everybody needs a system of law. Everybody needs a body politic. Everybody needs an organization, something that they can affect. It's a family that you could be a part of that's going to move you away from all of the misnomers and the things that have been impressed upon us, the behaviors and then the psychology that somebody has to give you a handout in order for you to be successful. Right. So nationality and a body politic is a refinement. It's a home. It's, it's a castle. It's, it's, it's a castle with a moat around it. It's going to put us in positions so that we can go. And if now, if you want to run for the mayor, be the mayor of New York, you go get those five indigenous, wherever they are, body politics, we all come back you up. You see what I'm saying? Now when you get in that position, now you're going to be doing business with us. Right. You know what I mean? So it's a That's simple thing. That's what all thing. the other nations do. That's what they do. Well, Noble Jirali had people elected. Yeah, Oscar yeah. Dupree. Exactly. Course. So now they get, in, they get into those positions, like Oscar Dupree and other people. They get into those positions, and now we can do business. We can do trade. We can do commerce. You know what I mean? But everything has to have a level of organization to it. And I think our people underestimate the need for systematic organization. You know I have mean? a question. Which is discipline. Yeah. Islam. Islam. What about, um, how do we police ourselves? Coming from the Nation of Islam growing up, then I went to the military for the United States of America. How do we 
militarize and police our own selves and protect ourselves from outsiders. Yeah, we have to we have to engage in real estate. We have to have the wealth to engage That's in real right. estate. Once you get into a position where you have a body politic, you can look at the universities. I, I, I'm in I'm, I'm, I'm in what you call Shaker Maximum Philadelphia, and you got uh, UPenn, you got LaSalle, you got Temple, you got all of them have their own police. The only reason they have their own police is because they have real estate. They got all these buildings, so now what do they do? They go down to the government and they say, listen, we have all this real estate, we need to protect our constituents. So now they literally file an affidavit, one officer gets the, whoever will be the commissioner or, the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or in their position, he gets that, they go open up the police department. So we could do that within the United States or if we have reserve land. If you purchase reserve land, there's a way that you can do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you go down to places in uh, Oklahoma and the sheriff is a native. You see what I'm saying? In that reserved land. So we got the we got the duality of both. If we get reserved land or if we in these open spaces in the cities where we have large levels of real estate, we have something to protect. And then if we don't want to start at that level, we can start at a really basic level. We can start in the basic level just like the FOI and all the other groups did. Listen, wherever you have your, your, your temple or your thing, your, your thing at, go out in the community, all right? And then show the example of what it looks like to wear a certain attire mm -hmm. because it attracts a certain energy. And they By see the fans coming, they see a bow tie coming. Listen, remember the time that we was down there in the, in the thing when the police was about to jump on the dude? Yeah. What did, what did we do? We went in there like, yo, we got him. Yeah. Because it was, it was like, Six officers mm -hmm. down at. Um, they rather the you do that anyway. Yeah, exactly. They actually rather you do that. Yeah, exactly. So they was ready to like get up, get up, and you seen them about to go in. So on ninety percent of the time, they watch us watch our brothers get kicked, and they stand around and ask, "Well, why he?" Ain't right, exactly. So we came in like, "No, we got it." Right. He was drunk. Exactly. We took him outside, walked him out. Well, you remember when they there. went in the, in the mosque in 74, 73, they didn't let that happen. We didn't, yeah. It wasn't yeah. going there. Yeah, yeah, about that. Ain't about that. We, and, we got and, our own people. And if I may, you know, you say 74, 73, you know, there was a large gap between, you know, that generation and my generation, whereas now, you know, when I was coming up, I mean, I didn't really see suits unless somebody was on their way to the funeral <laughs> or on their way to court. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? We, the FOI wasn't in Millbrook, Mitchell, See, that's Miami, when the whole changed. The Tances, Patterson Projects. Never heard well, of Hanawa. Never memories. heard of Elijah yeah. Muhammad. Yeah, because yeah. so, you know why? Because 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 the body politic it decreased and it didn't have it the was a big change at that time. And too. it was it was and this is just no no disrespect because you know I, I'm FOI. Right. You know, I came I through the, came through the ranks. It was because see when you form an ideology uh, with a body politic, you're supposed to stick to it regardless of whatever it is. So now no disrespect to different groups. If somebody comes with CMB, CMB is not the same as Noah Jewali. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now you got people who, who, who are pushing somebody who is not the founder and then it creates confusion. So now the body tick, that body politic right. begins to get affected by that virus because that's what it is. So when you had the messenger, it was a specific ideology. And then the, after he passed, right. his son, and then, you know, no, no disrespect to the minister, they decided that they, they wanted to take it in a certain direction and it had an effect. You see what I'm saying? So when you start, the thing that you got to do is listen. Don't change any of the elders' teachings. Don't do that. So that's why I call it the Aboriginal Public of North America, because I'm not going to say it's the Moor Science Temple or the Nation of Islam and disrespect them because they have something that 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 represents. And right. if I got to change something, it's got to be something different. Right. I'm not going to disrespect them. them. You prefer that? I have your own. Have it. Have my own, and, and then and then show the love and respect for them, and take from them yeah. as far as the yeah. guidance, and 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 you know be be verbal about. Yeah, I borrowed that from the messenger. I borrowed that from Noble Jolly. I borrowed that from. We can't change the ideologies because what that what happens is it confuses people. Yeah. So now you get branches, and, 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 and you get it breaking up. So that's why people don't see the FOI, or sometimes the Moors have been affected, or the UNIA. No, I didn't even did. know they were still around until I ran until like a Garbier was speaking to me, and I was like. Yeah, because they disappeared, bro. They disappeared. I mean, I, the headquarters, one of the headquarters down in Philadelphia, you go, and there's a dilapidated building. You see what I'm saying? I mean, some people still going in and meet. But what's happening to us also is that we got to recognize that those body politics were meant to be body politics. So they have and to become. Not, right. They have to become those things. They actually like, utilize this. Yeah. Source. So this now this goes into the last thing I want to talk about is the business side. Mm -hmm. The business side. How to contract. Always got to use examples. Always got to use examples. I, the slave name, Marcus Marcus Counts. That's what I was born as, right? I could go to banks. I could go to banks. Let's do that. I don't know if we can get that. 
You see? I hope not, that's they, Ali. You don't need to be knowing your. Nah, Ali. You know what? It's, it's all good. It's all good. We got but, protections yeah, for that. Sure. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's all kind of protections Aboriginal for that. Aboriginal insurance. Yeah. So you know what I mean? We got IDs. We got bank cards. This is all in your your free national. Yeah. Insurance. Exactly. Exactly. So now, how do I do that? How do I do that? Please how do tell I do us. that? Please all tell right, us. All right. So listen. <laughs> Business. First of all, I created a body politic, so now I can get EINs for any entity, right? So I created a business that was International Society, which is a, a, a subsidiary of, of, our, of our body politic. So now I can go into the bank with that, with my IDs, my indigenous IDs, give them the EIN, give them the indigenous IDs, give them the, um, the business articles, and I form what's called unincorporated associations. I can get various types of EINs. So now this is business education. Sometimes you might need an a, 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 a EIN that's a 98 number, that's from a foreign address. You know what I mean? So now you have virtual offices. Mm -hmm. Like you can literally go online and set up an office in Mexico. A virtual office. And you can use that address to go to a bank to open up an account. As long as you have the EIN number, business articles, and, um, and the address. And then you set up a domestic address that's a P.O. box. Right. That's it's simple stuff like that. Right. So now you could go in and set up accounts. Well, a, if I mean, it appears very simple. This is something that the. It's but we train people on this. Yeah. We train. Uh, right. look, look, it's simple. Not, not only that. See, the thing about it is, we train people on it in society. And then let's say the more science simple wanted to learn that process, I come do a one day seminar, everything on paper here. Y'all got it. You see what I'm saying? That's it. Now you and I, you want that too? Here. So this is what we're talking about for the summit. This is what we're talking about helping with the Millions March. Yeah. Yo, let's share some stuff because first of all, you can't be stingy. You know right. what I mean? We grew up all from the same conditions. Mm -hmm. So we have empathy for everybody that lives in those conditions because we know what it's like to not have water. Right. Not to have lights. Not to, you know what I mean? Like, so you don't forget about that. Not to have heat. Exactly. So you don't forget about those things. And when you learn something, you have the heart to come share. So my position is we all need to be sharing the greatest things that we have in every field it could be martial arts it could be economics it could be whatever military intelligence it could be all those things we need to get together and learn how to share what we have so we can improve each each one of these body politics because you can't go trying to tear down the hebrews tear down all these different groups because it's not going to work right everybody has something that they attach to and you don't know the spiritual reason why in their ancestry, in their bloodline, for, for, for some reason, they remember that epic. Right. You know what I mean? It's a reason for that. You know what I mean? Right. So, I told her, and I, I totally agree with that because. Yes, you know. Okay. okay. Well, um, you know, before you go, you know what I'm saying? I was actually going to say, go you know, I, 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 I would like to be an Israelite, but the feds got me, and that's, you know, that's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like that. It's just like, you know, they told me I couldn't have the feds to say shalom. I said, all right, God. Ah, uh, you so, had to step off. <laughs> yeah, man, I say no. But actually, I love actually the ideology because, you know, the, the, um, the Israelites have a strong sense of brotherhood. They do. And their body politic is founded on, you know, what they call the Bible. And my lesson is who made the Holy Quran the Bible. Right. So as long as yeah. they're dealing with the original man's science. Yeah. Right and, before and you go, though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, me and some brothers, we've been having this conversation, guys. So, Come look, on, I, on, Bill. I know you don't like the... No, I, I, Bill. I, Bill. Bill, Bill, God. The United States and the United States of America, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, when I read the definition of corporation, right, mm -hmm. it sticks out to me that it's the United States. It's a body politic. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that it's corporate or it's corporation. It's not. We're in a corporate construct. Right. And you're using corporate fictions to interface with mm -hmm. this corporate construct. Mm -hmm. And the proof of that is your bank card. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Right, the business. Oh, okay, so I right. don't sound crazy. No, you don't sound oh, crazy Okay, at cool. All. all right, yeah, because thank you very much. Because, you know, it's like, I mean... Listen, first of all, stop listening to the sovereign citizens. It's not necessary. The Europeans. They're not talking indigenous talk. Mm -hmm. All right? What's their nationality? Not, exactly. We, we, we're not into this threat level, crazy Illuminati. Like, just put that down for a second. We live in a real world. We got to do business. We got to engage in contract. All that. The United States, you know, corporation. You about to get turned in. Just, let's just chill out with that. You got to you know pay your I mean? rent, guys. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. At the pay end of the rent, day, we're going to be doing business. You know what I mean? So thank you. Appreciate you, yes, Lord. Sir. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Peace. Long Appreciate you. Yes, sir. 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 You know what? Do I have any I got the flyers in my bag. Oh, you know what? I'm definitely going to take you up on that seminar. You know, the ain't oh, yeah. training yeah, call. Yeah, love yeah, to yeah. hear that. Cause I think my, my stuff, yeah, all my stuff is on here. Got the number you. and everything. Oh, you know what? Tell us what about the Aboriginal Summit. Where? What time? What day? What time? Yeah. Come on, man. Let us help me out. Help me out. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. I got you right now. Look, the brother, he actually, in the middle of his class, came and did this during his class. So I'm going to let you know. It's August 28th, 29th, and 30th, 2015, 1319 Locust Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 
three day ticket individual is 100 and for the family it's 125 it's definitely worth it spend it on your brother before you spend it on another and uh you know i'll be there asking people the nationality and i hope that you're yeah, there yeah, answering come on through, cause they gonna, they gonna... i'm gonna be there oh and um if you don't mind since you already there in the shot one say it again brother right here nah? Everybody get camera time, Angel and Train TV. We're not trying to cut nobody out, edit nobody out, you know what I'm saying? Everybody get to speak their peace because it's about love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Peace. Oh, yeah, it's love. And the brother right here, yo, one of um, an avid supporter of mine, you know, I love the brother I seen. Um, you know, he is on the Facebook and right here in reality, you know, letting me know, you know, when he sees things. He'll comment, he'll send me an inbox, and he'll let me know when he identifies certain things, and we'll keep my source sharp. So I appreciate this, brother. It's like I appreciate all of y'all doing your thing, and we both hope to see you there. I'll give him some words if you will, please. Well, I just do it for the love for my people and my brother. You know what I'm saying? And some people, well, a lot of people, they talk about their people, and they want to unite and everything, but they just talk. I'm, I'm not really about talking. I let my actions speak for his, his words. You know what I'm saying? So, if I see my brother is in problem, I'm a step to him and I'm like, yo, such and such, such. So, peace family. And yeah, like he said, the summit is 28, 29. And base, basically, we're just trying to unite, unite the family again. Not just our family, but our whole family. You know, and our private family, you know what I'm saying? Your, your inside temple. So, peace family, appreciate y'all. Thanks again. Peace, peace, love. Love you for